When the French people elected François Hollande, they were promised a normal president who would put an end to the soap opera playing out in the Elysee Palace. But last week, the president's love triangle turned into a love square. Here's everything you need to know about the complicated love life of the man they call Flamby, or Caramel Custard. The beginning of a royal rivalry. The political and personal rivalry between Hollande and his former partner Ségolène Royal eclipses anything the Miliband brothers could come up with. The pair met while students at Enna, the training ground for the French political elite, and they both got into politics at the same time. They both harboured a desire to be President of the Republic, but there was no Bill and Hillary style deal about who would go first. They had four children together, but never married, and were living together in a state of uneasy harmony when Ségolène Royal stole a march on her partner and decided to make the first run on the Elysee Palace in 2007. From political rival to political writer. Then, seven years ago, Royale lost both the presidential election and her partner when Francois Hollande left her for the political journalist Valerie Trierweiler. Trierweiler was so close to the couple, she managed to get the first interview with them after the birth of their youngest child in 1992. What Dominique Strauss-Kahn has to do with all this? With the next election approaching, Dominique Strauss-Kahn was the favourite to win the Socialist Party's nomination. Instead, the nomination and later the presidency itself went to François Hollande, a man whose love life was less like Strauss-Kahn's sex parties and more like a Racinian tragedy meets school disco. When Royal kissed him on the cheek at one rally, Trierweiler insisted that he kiss her on the lips. Incidentally, DSK has also shown interest in Trierweiler. Once, when she was working for Paris Match, he approached her and said, how's the most beautiful journalist in Paris today? She replied, don't you mean your wife? Referring to the TV presenter Anne Sinclair. How not to endear yourself to stepchildren. Francois Hollande's children are said not to talk to their stepmother. That's because when Ségolène Royal, their mum, was standing to be MP of the La Rochelle area in 2012, Trierweiler tweeted in support of her opponent. Trierweiler wrote, Good luck to Olivier Filoni, who has done nothing worthy of blame, who has battled alongside La Rochelle residents for so many years with unselfish commitment. In response, Royal quoted Victor Hugo in her concession speech. She said, traitors always pay for their treachery in the end. When you make a mistress first lady, you create a job vacancy. Now, the French president is alleged to be having an affair with the actress Julie Gaillet, but his popularity with the ladies hasn't affected how the public view him. As one French pollster put it, he was so unpopular before, this hasn't changed a thing.